Hi everyone, Jerome here with Uva. Um, I'm putting together this quick explainer video. It's mostly for people who are currently in our alpha test pilot. Um, that means that there's actually some real world testers out there with Uva product in their home. And so they've asked that I put together this video so they get a better understanding of how to use Uva and really what is the most effective way for them to get the best results. So when you have an Uva app and you've registered for an account and you've purchased our test kits, you will get a notification to scan your test before you leave for the day. When that happens, you'll open up your app and there'll actually be a big red button here. Uh, it's not here on my app because I actually already scanned my tests for the day. So I'm actually just going to go into rescan, but this is going to mimic what would happen if that big button was there. So first thing you're going to see is uh, a little animation explaining to you to apply the urine sample. And so at this time, what you'll do is tear open one of these pouches that you have, and then you would clip on the handle. So this is designed so that you don't have to come into contact with the test before using it. At this time, you would take the test and you would apply a urine sample to it. You can either dip the test in a cup or you could apply the sample midstream. If you do do it midstream, we ask that you hold the test with the window facing down. After you've applied the sample, you then put the test in your holder. And again, this is designed so one, you don't have to come into contact with the test, and two, you don't have to leave the test uh, lying on your counter or hanging over the edge of your sink. So make sure you promptly start your timer. The timer is going to run for 10 minutes. That's how long we ask you wait before you capture your results. Um, I'm actually gonna say that I've already waited long enough and we'll skip this part. And then you're ready to scan. So when you say that you're ready to scan, you're gonna get this camera preview. And you, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but there's actually a purple boundary box on the bottom. Once the camera app detects that an UVA test is in sight, that bounding box will turn green. Let me see if I can show you guys. And then what you're going to do is you want to line up that QR code with the test facing vertically inside that bounding box. And once you get close enough, you will capture the results. This is saying that this test wasn't populated and it knows that because there's no lines on it. So there's no control line and no other test lines but you will be redirected upon a successful scan right to your home screen. I'm just gonna show you one more time what that workflow should look like if you're not holding the test in your hand. So we go to scan, you have a scanning window, and then the goal is to just line up that QR code. And once you get a feel for it, it actually works really quickly. Um, and then you know that a test was successfully scanned if you end up back on your home screen except now the button is gonna be gone, like you saw when we first started this video, and it'll have your today's action plan, which are just some recommendations that we make if you're uh, trying to get pregnant and some things you can consciously do throughout the day about your emotional well-being, your nutritional health, and your physical health. That's it, um, aside from that, you can feel free to eject the test into the garbage, so you just bring it over to the garbage and you hit the button, uh, these are, alpha test unit so you might have to give it a little help and so you just take the test and you dispose of it this whole cartridge is disposable um, and then the way we like to wrap things up is just leave the handle in the holder and that's it thank you everyone if you have any other questions you could email me directly jerome at uva.life or of course you've probably been speaking with amy um, you could reach her at amy at uva.life thanks everyone